and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. And now we've denoised and we're going to be getting into deconvolution. But first, we need to create our PSF model. So we're going to open up the processes, all processes, dynamic PSF. It brings up this window here. Just going to run that over and there's two ways to do this. We can either do it on the galaxy or the, the original image, or we can do it on our luminance mask. I prefer to do it on our luminance mask uh, simply because when I select a star here, It was giving me three values before. Let me go back into that. So let's select this star. There we go. As you can see, we've got three values and you know, one for R, one for G, one for B. So kind of don't want you know, that. That makes it a little bit harder to work with. So we're going to subtract that one. But if we use our luminance mask and I select, select a star, no significant data. Let's try this one here. only one value because it's luminance so it's brightness it's only going to have one value so I like to work off of the luminance mask so let me subtract that out and all right so what we're going to do is we're just going to start selecting stars and select as many as you want uh, the more the better uh, in this first step because we're going to be using a few things like amplitude and the mad variable here mean amplitude deviation I believe is what it's called uh, to uh, remove some so let's just go ahead and I like to zoom in And then start in a corner and we'll just start selecting stars and if you notice if I select this one no significant data so it won't let me select that one but it will let me select that one so I'm just going to quickly run through this and I'm going to select a whole bunch of these stars Alright, so I have selected a whole lot of stars. Let's bring that back over here. And it looks like 57. Probably would like a few more, but you know, it is what it is at my focal length. Just want to make sure I didn't have any of the other ones that had just the star and those, you know, the star line with no actual data. Okay, so now we're going to sort by MAD. So we're going to do this sort button right here. I'm going to select mean absolute difference. And as you can see here,
1.23, so that's almost 10 times as large. So, all right, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to kind of go from 1.23 to roughly 3. That should give us a good range of stars. Anything greater than that, that's just going to be too big. You know, this one is going to throw the data off. So we'll keep, uh, looks like roughly whatever this is doubled. So 1.23. We'd want to keep anything between 1.23 and 2.46. So that won't be above it. So let's check how many that is. 33 selected. That should be a good starting point. So let's select that one. Go down here and hit the minus. So we still have 33 left. So now we want to sort by amplitude. So let's go here, go amplitude and OK. So now what we want to keep is anything that's below 0.25 and 0.75. So this one's 0.751, so that's a little bit higher. So we will select those and get rid of those. It still leaves us with 27. Now we're going to sort by aspect ratio. Which is this column right here. Now, according to Light Vortex Astronomy's information, anything between a 0.6 and a 0.8 are good values. Uh, unfortunately, 0.84 is the lowest I have. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to keep all of them and just have to deal with uh, the results. And we're just going to click this little camera icon, which is export to PSF. And I'm going to reset this, create my process icon. Go ahead and close this out. And this is our PSF image. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save that. Now, the star masks, the luminance mask, the PSF, I don't need to save those uh, necessarily. I am doing this so that if I have to walk away, or if for some reason the computer crashes or, or reboots or what have you, I will have the files that I need to continue on from where wherever I left off. So that's the only reason I'm doing these. Normally, if you're just rocking and rolling through this, you're going to create the PSF. You know, you're going to let it be. You're just going to minimize it, reference it when you need it, and. You're going to get done processing the image. You're going to close everything out. You're not going to worry about it. Uh, but I am worrying about it simply because I'm trying to do this video uh, one so that I can learn this process better. Two, create my workflow icon set. Three, record these videos so that uh, you can see what I'm doing. And as we saw in the star mask, uh, 
uh, you know, just how uh, fine tune you got to do to get the results you want. Um, you know, so that we can all learn, not just myself, but uh, hopefully you got you guys and gals were watching as well. So dynamic PSF is done. Uh, I'm going to end this chapter here. And I believe next will, up will be the actual deconvolution process. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you so choose. Ring that bell if you want to get notified when I post something new. And as always, clear skies.